Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doke Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the Scorching Sprint Summer Campaign. Uh, so this campaign basically is just the uh, kind of buffer campaign between us and the Worldwide Celebration campaign. So it's just going to be a very short one. In terms of time limited missions, we have do a stage under special conditions 7 times. Clear any Doken event, clear any Doken event three times. Doken awaken a character, use a support memory three times. Clear any stage with only super attacks five times. Undergo training five times. Use training location three times. Z awaken a character, get the SA of a character up to level 10. And then of course to consume a set amount of stamina. So nothing too crazy here. The special condition for most of these missions, uh, the ones at the top, is to use two or more defenders of justice. You can get in total 12 dragon stones from these missions and the daily time limited missions are nothing too difficult. Clear two stages and use 15 stamina is not necessarily the hardest thing to do. So in terms of these special missions, which we'll just quickly jump to right now, uh, the special condition is to use two or more Defenders of Justice category units. There are plenty free to play Defenders of Justice category units that you can farm currently up. So you don't need to worry too much about this requirement. You should be able to do it quite naturally and it's only clearing a stage seven times. So you shouldn't have too many issues. The next thing we'll take a look at is the login bonuses. So the login bonuses are pretty simple this time. Nothing like the anniversary. One dragonstone per day, plus a couple orbs and a couple bits of zeny. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, at least it's something to take note of. You will get in total something like 16 stones from this. And we note that it ends on the 25th of August, which means that we can expect the worldwide celebration to again be roughly around about the end of August, beginning of September. Then we have the legendary campaign. So the legendary campaign is for the Marjan Boo and the Babidi, and it's basically to doke and awaken them to an Allah for 20 stones. You can then also get seven Kai's back if you get their super attack to level 20, and you get all the orbs back if you manage to 100% them, basically. A prime battle campaign is basically a special campaign where they finally add the bonus to the prime battle, and then they also decrease the stamina cost they halve it so that you can farm the prime battle a lot easier for those of you who had the prime battle lr like me before the campaign came out you do get an extra 10 bonus stones those have been handed out earlier there is a guide down below and you will see it pop up in the top right hand corner on how to do this entire event but basically to cut a long story short you're going to need at least 24 copies of the babadi you're going to need 1548 of his medals and you're going to need 30 of his TUR medals. It sounds like a lot but with a Margin Boo Saga team and with the boost activated and with things like Oolong now with the boosts you can get with boosts it doesn't take too long especially considering the stamina requirement has been halved. Overall they are a pretty good prime battle LR and are very good in situations where you can debuff the enemy in any kind of way. And so because of that, I do suggest you guys get them. They are very, very solid and they're a great free to play addition to many players boxes. They're great in a ton of SBRs and yeah, overall they're pretty good. I will be getting their super attack to level 20. So once I'm done with that, then I will showcase the unit. Now, that being said, uh, the next thing that we need to go through is the campaign. So this is the Scorching Heat Summer Sprint campaign. Uh, and we're going to just take a look at all the events that it brings with it. Obviously, in terms of that, we have the login bonuses, the special missions. We have the Durkan Fest banner featuring Videl, which we'll go through near the end of the video. We have a special banner for Defenders of Justice units. Of course, you don't need to do that. There are plenty of free-to-play options. The Legendary Campaign, a new Durkan event for Videl's medals. An update to the Videl Flying Technique mission. A update to the Extreme Z Margin Brew Saga area. The legendary campaign showing that they've halved the stamina requirement, a new virtual Dokkan ultimate clash, and some other events returning without an update. We'll go through these events for which super attacks can be farmed at a later stage, but there's also been a halve to the quest stamina so that you continue to farm those, and later on there will be an update to the defeat the loop the super legendary Saiyan event for a new support memory there as well. Raditz's missions will also come back and there will be an update there. 
So overall, some nice interesting content to keep us busy for a short while, but nothing that's going to be too difficult or too hard. It's basically just going to be something that you can kind of keep yourself busy with until the worldwide celebration which will come at a later stage probably around the beginning of september or the very end of august so nothing too crazy but nice and fulfilling content for us to do and if you're a new player plenty of free to play units to farm so you can get right on that as well Obviously the Flying Videl event has had an update, we'll go through that in more detail but it's had a support memory added to it with stages 4 and 5. Then we have the Videl Dokkan event obviously which currently only awakens her and the Goten but it has one stage and two difficulties so there's two stones there. And then of course we also have the updates to all the other event, well the return of all the other events. One that I can suggest to you guys is the showdown event. It drops three really good units that you're going to need to use to EZA some other units later on in this Extreme Z Margin Buu Saga event. I will be going through the updates to that and everything in that in a little more detail. But that is one of the events that I want to highlight for you. The other event is this Turbulent Start World Tournament Reborn, where both the Gohan team and the Yamuns Bopovich have received EZAs. That being said, the only other thing really to take note of is that the physical Activate Your Hidden Potential event is up full time for those of you who are trying to fill out the hidden potential of the Majin Buu and Bobdi card. So they'll be up every single day so they'll help you farm the orbs needed to bring them to 100%. And then finally we will go through the banner. Now the banner is very good, it has a set of discounts, 25 stones, 30 stones and 45 stones with the final stone summon featuring a guaranteed featured unit. Overall I do suggest that you do the discounts even if you are looking at saving. You basically can earn all the stones back from the current content in the campaign so you're not really looking at losing anything and you'll get a guaranteed featured unit and the banner is pretty decent. Fidel herself is pretty damn good. She's a Pepe Gals and a Defenders of Justice lead and she is also a very very strong offensive unit. Alongside her we also have Gohan Teen who's a very very impressive unit and lead. Bojack which is basically the space traveling warriors version of Cooler. We have the Goten as well who is super solid so we have overall a very decent banner and guaranteed featured units for you know around about 100 or so stones don't really come along super often. Uh, things like Bojack are really really good, the Gohan Teen is super super good. And even for newer players, units like the Trunks and the Zamasu are actually very solid. They're great leads featuring extreme and super category type leads and they also lead very strong categories in the form of Realm of the Gods and Future Saga. The only real kind of uh, negative about this is that there is the Int Goku Black who's yet to receive any kind of easy A and he's not too hot on this banner. But overall I think it's okay to use the discounts up to the featured summon but otherwise you can skip this banner if there's nothing really there. I don't suggest going in too deep on this banner, most of these units will return and Videl's very good but she's very very niche. That being said, uh, that's going to be it from me guys, I hope you enjoyed this summary of the current events coming to DBZ Dokkan Battle Global. As always, let me know in the comments down below if you managed to get Videl and how you've been finding the content or if there's anything specifically that you need help with. But as always, until the next video, cheers, stay safe, and bye!